And with Earth Day approaching, the nonprofit Save the Children is offering some advice on how you can talk to your kids about climate change. It can be a daunting subject for adults, so their first piece of advice, parents, do your research. They say it'll help you communicate more clearly with your child. One of the most important things they say also is to take the lead from your kids. They are asking questions and talking about the, uh, the climate crisis, then that's a perfect time to start that conversation with them, really listening to, you know, what their questions are and not being um, surprised when they might ask some really tough questions and making sure that we know that it's okay if we don't know the answers, um, but we can, we can do our best to, um, to research and understand their understanding of the issues and, and how we can help their learning. That is Greta Wetzel. She's a senior advisor for psychological support at Save the Children. She says because it's easy to get overwhelmed by climate change, start with small projects that can help to empower your child. Taking those actions of maybe planting a garden or um, going to the recycling center together, riding our bikes places that we maybe would normally take um, a car to. So having some ways that we are making sure that we feel like we can be empowered to, to make the changes that need to be made. And Wetzel says allowing your child some space to brainstorm their own ideas is helpful as well. And Save the Children has been working in disaster impacted areas for almost 20 years. And we see the, the disruption that that takes in the lives of children, both in their education systems and community systems as well. And through our work, we are really promoting ways that we can mitigate um, the impacts of climate change and these severe disasters that are impacting children. Um, so we want to make sure that children have a way to see themselves as part of that solution.